Good morning everyone. Uh, today I am here to discuss about abstract and con collective nouns. Abstract nouns are words that name things that are not concrete. Your five physical senses cannot detect an abstract noun. You can't see it, smell it, taste it, hear it or feel it. In a sense, an abstract noun is a quality, a concept, an idea or maybe even an event. An abstract noun is the opposite of concrete nouns. Nouns that refer to object you can experience with your five senses. An abstract noun is intangible. They can identify concepts, experiences, ideas, qualities and feelings. Now here are some examples of abstract nouns. Feelings, anxiety, confusion. Now the make sentence of anxiety, there was anxiety in her voice, confusion, the new event threw them into confusion. States, freedom, luxury. Freedom, it's my freedom of choice. I can do anything. Luxury, right now a new car is a luxury that I can't afford. Emotions, anger, happiness, anger. I took all my frustration and anger on you. Happiness, I wish you all the happiness you so deserve. Quality, beauty, courage, beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Courage, his words put courage into every heart. Concepts, comfort, culture. Comfort, it was his life, a sense of comfort and structure. Culture, we are proud of our Indian culture. Ideas, friendship, interest. Friendship, may our friendship last forever. Interest, I have an interest of playing cricket. Now use, now this is an exercise. Use these words to form an abstract noun to fill in the blanks. Dash is something almost everyone appreciate. The word is kind. Now you have to use this word as an abstract noun. We cannot say kind is something almost everyone appreciates. What do we have to say? We have to say kindness is something almost everyone appreciates. The wrestlers exhibited immense dash, strong. It is my dash to welcome the mayor. Please, the what answer will be? It is my pleasure to welcome the mayor. Our dash will last forever, friend. Can we say our friend will last forever? No. What do we have to say? We have to say our friendship will last forever. Now the next topic is collective nouns. So what do we mean by collective nouns? A collective noun refers to a group of people, animals or a collection of things taken as a whole. Words like group, herd and array are examples of collective nouns. Now these are the some examples of common collective nouns. People, board, choir, class, committee, family. Animals, folk, herd, board, swamp. Things, bunch, collection, fleet, pack, set. Now name them. What is a group of girls called? A bevy of girls, a giggle of girls. What is a group of cats called? A glaring of cats, a cluster of cats, a clutter of cats. And what is a group of giraffes called? A journey of giraffe, a herd of giraffe, a tower of giraffes. Now find the correct words from each for each group. Now what are the words? People, lions, geese, kittens, snakes, sheep, bees. Now this is the exercise for you children, a crowd of dash, a swarm of dash, 
a pride of dash, a litter of dash, a den of dash, a fork of dash and a gaggle of dash. Thank you.